Hi there, this is a quick video to show the problems that I'm having with my newly built Discovery Pro. Uh, in general, absolutely amazing machine, flies like a dream, uh, but there's no point in it flying like a dream if half the video stuff isn't going to work and uh, the gimbal here. So just a quick demo of what's going on, uh, just to show you what's, what I've got set up wise. Um, I've got a screen there which is going to be showing the output from certainly this camera and hopefully via the switcher which I've got assigned to this switch over here on my uh, TX um, hopefully that's going to switch between that and the GoPro feed which as you can see is wired in correctly the back here it's in nice and firmly and that's going up there to the IMU which I've checked is feeding the signal through to this cable here but I haven't checked it further back than that as you can see the gimbal is perfectly well balanced Anyway, uh, let's power up and see what we're getting. Um, I'll just actually be extra clear to show you that the gimbal here. I've redone these cable ties several times just to make sure that they're absolutely not getting any impedance of cable. So just to show you there, we've got absolutely clear. No binding at all. It's free movement on that. And likewise, all the way around there, completely free movement. But at the same time, it is balanced. So if I leave it in the middle, it will stay in the middle, which is good. Okay, so transmitter on, powering up. And GoPro camera appears to do the right thing pitch wise and moves up to the angle that I've set. And as you can see, already having problems. I've just proved that it's not binding anywhere, so why it's doing this, I don't know. Let's try moving the pitch control. Sometimes it sorts it out, yep. So moving that centre has sorted that out. Let's move it now all the way down. A bit slow, but it gets there. And then all the way back up. Again, a bit slow, but it gets there. So, pitch we're all happy with. GPS lock, even indoors. Interesting. Good to know. Right, uh, as we can see, look at me and my dressing gown here. It's very early in the morning when I'm recording this. Um, that we've got perfect uh, picture, pretty much, on our camera. Hello there, pilot cam. But if I switch to my other camera, you'll see what happens we just go instantly dark and then nothing coming out of the GoPro that will be at the moment because it's not turned on but let's just show you but if I unplug that again turn the GoPro on just again just confirming this is bind free and bind free turn the GoPro on first there we go, GoPro is on, should be outputting video let's restart our machine and there we go as you can see we have camera action back but still nothing on the GoPro output and I've tried that now with two GoPros so it's not that let's just um, try disconnecting that see if it makes any difference no it doesn't in fact there's no noise on that cable or anything might mean that the problem is further up the line this way which would be a shame because it might mean that it's uh, in the top plate okay right let's uh, look at so we've looked at the pitch axis of this let's just check that when we pick the machine up and start moving it that pitch does work exactly as we expect yes it does yeah that is exactly what I am expecting pitch to do just make sure the GoPro can see that however on roll well, as soon as we go no more than 5 or 10 degrees that way, binding for no reason at all. Likewise, when we go more than a certain amount this way, oh, binding for no reason at all. There's still a long way to go before that heat reaches the edge of the frame there. So let's put that back. Try again. 
try again reset the gimbal, let's do some gimbal calibration and when we hold it Okay, try again. And again, bind when we move over to that side. And bind when we move over to that side. So we've got a little bit more play there. No. Reset the gimbal again. Let's try just one press this time. That resets it to a slightly strange angle. Oh, now it's doing something. Okay, that is correct I think, let's just see if we're going to bind, yes we are, straight away again, we're going to bind, yeah, so there's nothing I can do about that, it's weighted perfectly, it's wired perfectly, what shall we try next, I guess the next thing to do would be to try replacing this, see if there's anything wrong with the IMU, and then I'm afraid we're going to have to try replacing the top board as well. Okay, that's it for now. I shall post again when we've got a solution.